Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. In today's video we have a big tease for a possible Obi-Wan Kenobi release date. As always my dear friends before we dive into it please be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below if you've not done so and also be sure to give that bell a good old tickle to be alerted every single time I post a new video. So without much further ado and without any more jibber jabber let's dive straight into it. If you think back to a video I made a few weeks ago I spoke about the coincidence with the release dates for certain books with their adjacent shows. For example, this December the Be More Boba Fett book releases the same month as the Book of Boba Fett. We also knew there was going to be an Obi-Wan book being released sometime in the spring of 2022 but now we have an official release date and title. It's going to be called The Legend of Obi-Wan Kenobi and it releases on May the 3rd one day before Star Wars Day. Some Star Wars fans are speculating that this could possibly mean that we're getting a May the 4th release date for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, or at the very least, that the show is going to drop in the early half of 2022. Once the Book of Boba Fett ends, it's been speculated that Andor and Kenobi are going to be the shows that follow, Andor first and then Obi-Wan, but we don't know for certain and for all we know, they might release the Bad Batch season 2 first. But the release date of this book, does seem to hint at a possible May the 4th release for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now when it comes to this book, it doesn't have a cover yet, but it is going to be a little golden book, making it primarily for younger fans, but plenty of adults also enjoy the simplified format too. The synopsis is as follows. The legend of Jedi Knight Obi-Wan Kenobi is retold in this Star Wars little golden book. A hero of the Clone Wars and the Rebellion, Obi-Wan battled Sith Lords Darth Maul and Darth Vader, helped destroy the Empire's Death Star, and guided Luke Skywalker in his quest to restore peace to the galaxy and balance to the force. I really can't wait for the Kenobi series to be released. 2022 is poised to be one of the biggest years for this franchise. And it all starts at the end of this year with the Book of Boba Fett on December the 29th. Now with the Kenobi series, I really love that we're going in blind. Same thing for the Book of Boba. We've had a few character rumors, a couple of scene details, but nothing major. And all of the reported leaks were not in context. So the overall story of the Kenobi series is a complete mystery. And and I really love that not too much has been revealed. There are going to be connections to Star Wars Rebels and I can also imagine there are going to be tie-ins and overlaps with the Andor series which both Ewan McGregor and Tomer Morrison are also rumoured to be in. There could also be some connections to the Bad Batch and generally I think the show is going to do justice to the post-prequel era of the galaxy. And overall there is so much resting on the Kenobi series doing well with some outlets calling it the most important TV show of our generation. As you guys know I'm a massive pre Equals fan and I think of all the upcoming Star Wars shows, this is the one that's going to make me bawl my eyes out. Seeing Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen again, possibly seeing Liam Neeson as Qui-Gon's Force Ghost, for many of us it's going to be reliving a massive part of our childhoods and I can't wait to share that with this amazing community. As with all series that come out, I will be doing full episode breakdowns, I'm going to be giving you my raw and honest feedback. Considering the show is all wrapped up and in post-production, I really hope Disney Plus Day gives us something Kenobi related. It's too soon for a teaser, but maybe a poster or a first look at what Obi-Wan's going to look like in the series. I mean heck, even if they do a brief behind the scenes reel of the show where Ewan McGregor is just drinking coffee with Deborah Chow and just chilling, anything will do. I just want some kind of glimpse. I've never been this excited for a series and I think we all have that one show that we're most looking forward to. Now on the subject of Obi-Wan Kenobi, someone who's not confirmed for the series that is pretty much a given for the Andor show is Jimmy Smits as Bail Organa. Such an important character for the Rebellion would definitely not be excluded from the Andor series, especially given his role in the prequels and of of course in Rogue One which is later on in the timeline. While I think there's no doubt he's going to appear in Andor, there's also a very good chance we're going to see him in the Kenobi series. The show is set to take us to Alderaan 10 years before it's obliterated and since we've heard rumours of a young Princess Leia in the show, it's only logical that her adoptive father Bail Organa is going to appear. Not only is he a good friend and confidant to Obi-Wan Kenobi, but his role in the Rebellion cannot be understated, especially at this point 10 years after Revenge of the Sith. Now, now, even though he's such an obvious character, I think that Lucasfilm omitted him from the original cast announcement to keep him a secret. They might have felt that revealing his name would give too much away about the plot. 
and for all we know, he might appear as a secret cameo. Now, we could go down the rabbit hole of possible appearances all day long. There are so many possible characters that could appear in Obi-Wan Kenobi, but only so many of them can actually show up. So now, just briefly, guys, we're going to talk about the Ahsoka series, because after the monumental news that broke the internet that Hayden Christensen is going to be in the show, a reputable leaker, Corey Van Dyke, formerly from KRT, has teased that there's going to be more casting news for Ahsoka next week. And I think it's all amounting to Lucasfilm preparing us for an official cast announcement. We know that Rosario Dawson is going to be portraying Ahsoka Tano, we've heard rumours that Sabine Wren is being cast, Mena Masood is going to be Ezra, Lars Mikkelsen is going to be playing Grand Admiral Thrawn, and now we know that Hayden Christensen is going to be Anakin slash Vader in both the Kenobi series and Ahsoka. But next up, of all the characters I'd expect they'd announce, Tomara Morrison as Rex is very likely. Now going forward into the future of Star Wars, it looks like we're going to be getting a lot of Tomara Morrison in future projects. Aside from the Book of Boba, he's rumoured to return as Cody in Obi-Wan Kenobi, possibly Captain Rex and Ahsoka, and that's not even counting other surviving clones that we may come across in live action. The only exception to this is if they do decide to bring the Bad Batch into live action, in which case it's very unlikely they're going to use Tem since Clone Force 99 were an enhanced batch with distinctively different physical features to the other clones. They will use him as a template, but I can't imagine him portraying any of the members. I could be wrong, but at the end of the day, I don't think we're going to see any members of the Bad Batch apart from Omega coming into live action. I think they set Omega up in the Bad Batch to have a very significant role in the future of Star Wars, maybe even in Rangers of the New Republic or the Ahsoka series. But as for the other members, we'll see them in the Bad Batch season 2, but probably not in any live action series. For one thing, they'd be way too old by the time of Rangers or Ahsoka, and it really seems like they were designed just to be in the Clone Wars and of course the Bad Batch. But going back to the Kenobi news, what do you make of this and everything we spoke about in today's video? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think that the release date for this book tells us anything about when we can expect Obi-Wan Kenobi? And if so, do you think there's any chance it will be on May the 4th? That would be a dream come true, but as some people pointed out, if the Andor series is coming before Obi-Wan Kenobi, then it can't be released on May the 4th. So either they're going to do the Bad Batch instead of Andor after the Book of Boba Fett, in which case a Kenobi release date is possible, or they're is going to be some reshuffling of the order. But are you guys excited for the Kenobi series? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this one, give me a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and a huge welcome if you are. And also consider becoming a patron. There's a really exciting video coming out about Saul Guerrero, who in my opinion is the most complex character in all of Star Wars. But otherwise, my dear friends, may the force be with you and I'll see you in the next one.